Hey, what's up, fam? Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You're on my show, First Call Outs, where every week we talk about competition, everything you need to know about prep. Today, we're going to talk about wellness. Is this the vision only for the Brazilians and people out in other countries of the world? Question I get all the time. We're covering it right here on First Call Outs. So this week we're rolling down the wellness train, I guess you could say, because we did wellness on Monday, we did wellness on Tuesday, we're doing wellness again today on Wednesday. We might be doing wellness again tomorrow, I don't know, but make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you're getting all these new videos, all these updates, all this content. I'm pumping it all the time, five shows a week, all right? So subscribe, just do it now, take care of it, we don't have to talk about it again, all right? Let's talk about one of the questions I get most often about wellness though, all right? Ever since this division came out, people have been saying, Ah, you know what? It looks like it's really just for the Brazilians. They they do so well in wellness. They've been doing well in wellness, you know, or international people in general. Is this really for people in the states? And I still hear from women today asking me all the time when you know we start training for wellness or something like that, where they're like, "Hey, is this actually a division that we can even do? Is this as attainable? Because it looks like everybody winning is from Brazil and other international countries." Okay, here's what I want to clear up. Wellness is the newest addition to the MPC and the IFBB. That means they just brought this division in, everybody, okay? We have bikini that was you know, similar in some ways, and we did not have wellness, and now we do have wellness. Last year was the first year really, we really even got to see wellness you know, on stage at the Arnold and so on and so forth. And this year is a 2021, a defining moment for wellness because we're going to get it at Olympia. So this division is brand new in the NPC and the IFBB and really starting to take shape just now okay but here's what you probably don't know wellness has been around internationally for years and years and years and it was a very very popular division that's why there's actually so many wellness competitors coming internationally now to come do these events they've already been training for it for years and also why it appears that they are much for Long. Maybe this division just made for them. No, they've been training for it for years and years, all right? So with the recent introduction now to the MPC and the IFBB here, where we start seeing it at the Arnold like we did last year, we'll see it again there this year. We'll see it, you know, at pretty much any major event. But Olympia, these are all things that are, you know, going to really start defining this division. However, does this mean that it's only meant for, you know, the, the international wellness competitors? Are they going to be the ones that dominate it? I would be hard hard pressed to say so because I'll tell you guys what I've been training wellness competitors here in the states you know I, I've been training them internationally but also in the states and I also have them doing very very well at competitions thus far winning their shows taking home overalls we're gonna get some wellness pros this year for sure there's gonna be a lot of things that are really starting to happen as this division defines I think one of the main critical problems with all you out there that say you know what there's just no way it's not possible I don't know what I'm doing why are nobody in the you know in US citizens in other words really getting top placings in wellness shows it's because the programming is off all right I'm telling you a lot of people don't know how to program for this division a lot of coaches are giving you know their wellness clients a bikini program and saying well it's pretty much the same let's just do this and it's just ridiculous there's so much lack of knowledge about this division right now and there's just people basically throwing a dart at the wall hoping they hit a target but at the end of the day it's not how it works it's just like any other division when we have specific criteria we have to fit when we have you know okay you need to have this much quad this much glute this much hamstring this has to match this much deltoid shoulder all this we have to have the shape size symmetry proportion what makes bodybuilding bodybuilding and yes wellness is bodybuilding well if we know all those things then you can't just go blindly into it you can't just lift and eat and expect to be a successful wellness competitor you got to train at, uh, you know 100% to attain that look attain that physique and it has to be custom to you and your physique. We're going to dive a lot more into all this and why there might be some, you know, misconceptions about what's going on with wellness. Is it just for the Brazilians? Obviously not. But how can you get in here and do better right after this break? One, two, three.
you want to see some wellness workouts, seriously do that trial. You saw that little promo, that little video. Go to my website right now, teamffelex.com. You can subscribe right there. Free trial. You can train with me or one of my coaches free for the next seven days. We'll show you these exact type of workouts, all right? Let's dive into exactly what I'm talking about here, though. The programming issue with a lot of people that are doing wellness coaching right now is they don't know what the criteria is. A lot of coaches have no clue what they're looking for. They say bigger legs. I've seen coaches that are reputable coaches on social medias and uh, you know in videos and other things saying that wellness is just a less conditioned version of bikini, you know, more of a lower bottom body fat heavy version of bikini, which couldn't be further from the truth. Anybody that we've already seen in wellness, by the way, they are lower body dominant because of muscle and these are the ones doing the best and this is obviously the criteria. I talk to all of the top level judges, Olympia judges all the time about criteria for all divisions but especially wellness because it's a new division. If you guys watch my channel, I've been doing wellness content now since literally the day they announced this division, okay? Literally the day that they said they're bringing it in, I've been doing content. Go back, look. I got hundreds of wellness videos at this point but the criteria is the criteria and you have to fit the criteria. A lot of coaches though are throwing, you know, like I said, darts at the wall expecting to hit the target, hitting the bullseye with a guess, with a gamble and it's not going to work that way and if you're out there trying to self-coach, I mean even harder to do honestly. At least with a coach you're getting some level of coaching but the truth is if you're out there self-coaching for wellness it's just simply not going to work and I think this is the biggest problem and why a lot of you know competitors from the states have been asking me hey are we screwed when we go to stage? Are we screwed because you know Brazilians or other international girls out there that are competing in this that are just so much more you know developed and dominant? No really they've been training for wellness for a long time and they had the right programming okay? Does that mean that it's going to hold you back at all in any way? Absolutely not. I firmly believe that you know we're going to really start to see this division change a lot 2021. We're about to see one of the biggest events of the year, the Pittsburgh Pro, where they're going to have pro wellness. That's going to be a defining moment, a defining factor, and we're going to see this shape throughout the next you know years, honestly. Wellness is not going to be defined this year, ladies and gentlemen. As they say, here's the criteria, here's what we want to see, here's what it is. Now, people bring that to stage, they start getting on stage, they start competing, and they start getting feedback. They start fine-tuning. Judges start Start shaping the division more. They start changing, you know, a little bit of the criteria where it is. Go back and look at where Bikini was when it came out versus where it is today. It's insane. It's so different. It's not even. It's not even comparable in any way, shape, or form. And that's what we're going to see with wellness. You know, when you start a new division, it really doesn't just come from, hey, here's the text criteria, go do it, and we'll, you know, place you. It doesn't really come from that. It comes from an evolution where it can really take a two, three, four years sometimes to really be like, all right, this is a solid criteria. It's exactly what they want to see. This is what we got to bring. But with that, you got to understand, they already had that jump up internationally for many competitors worldwide doing wellness for years, and now they're bringing it in. They're kind of ahead of the pack, but it doesn't mean it can hold. it's going to hold you back in any way. As long as you start on the right training, you start on the right nutrition, you know what you're doing, you can absolutely compete in this division and do very, very well this year. You can do very, very well next year. You can become a wellness pro this year. You can do all these things. As this division really starts to define, it's actually a really cool moment for all you beginners out there. All you people that have not done wellness yet, you can actually come in, compete, and start start defining the criteria of this division. What could be cooler than that, right? There's still very little wellness competitors coming out right now compared to bikini and things like that, but I guarantee you over the next span of the next year, the next two years, this is going to come up and contest bikini for the most popular division. I think wellness maybe could even get to the top of that where there's more people doing wellness than there is in bikini. So it is a very brand new, very exciting division. We're only a few years down. Obviously, the pandemic put things, you know, a a little bit even on hold with that. A lot of people didn't compete. This year, 2021, will be a defining year. So start training right. Start doing the right things and get yourself ready for the stage. I'm telling you, it's very exciting. It's going to be a great time. Don't let you know all these ideas of international competitors are better. They're going to always win. They own the criteria. It's not true. Get out there, do the right stuff, and I guarantee you, you will see what you can actually accomplish. And if you want an example of what I'm talking about, these workouts, the way you got to train, the way you got to go about your improvement season, the way you got to go about your prep for wellness to do well, go to my website right now, teamffle.com. 
Facebook.com and subscribe to our free trial. It's literally free. No obligation. You're not putting money in. I'm not charging you a set ever. You can literally come in, get some great wellness workouts, and head on out, take them with you. I don't care. I'm here to help you. That's why I do this content. That's why we do the trial. We want to make you better. We want to help you get to the top of what you're trying to do. So if that's wellness, head over to our website right now and subscribe to that free trial. All you got to do is put your email in and it will invite you over to our app and we'll take you on. We'll train you for the next seven days. Totally free. Show you some cool stuff. Teach you some things at the very least. If you watch my videos and you learn anything, you're going to learn a thousand times more doing that trial, right? So make sure you do that and also subscribe to this channel if you get anything out of it. You got friends competing in wellness, share my video for me, please. Helps me a ton. Thank you so much for watching. Be back tomorrow for Fitness Fire. Coach Rye is out.